We're here now coming to the English Institute of Sport in Sheffield, the GB squad. This is where they this is where they get down and get to work. Which is about here somewhere, I don't know where he is. There he is. He's gonna get me strapped up and ready. Rich, how are you? Hello, <laughs> mate. You okay? Right? Good, yeah? Yeah, good. good. You alright? Yeah. You good? You keep your lead hand, lead hand, lead leg, right elbow in. How's your journey? Three hours, mate. Slug. Yeah, Slug. You've got a warm up to get it out of the system. You've got to travel up all these distance on a Monday, mm -hmm. stay up here, leave your family, go back on a Friday. Like, what, what is like deep down? What's your like motivation, really? I want to make a better life for my mum and my sister, but also my kids and my grandkids. Mm. I want them to have somebody to look back and be like, you know what, my granddad did that or my, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, like your granddad Yeah. yeah. I think because I've been in this gym for so long, I've been here nine years and um, there's been two Olympic cycles I've been through. Um, so the first one was uh, London, the London cycle and Auntie Joshua came in won the Olympic gold medal and then you know I thought oh next time you know that's me um, I, I want I what he's got mm. and after that Joe Joyce came in mm. um, he's, you know we, we, was, we was competing and then he, he like he piped me he sort of took over I don't think I was ready for them Olympics anyway but in my head I wanted to be there mm. so I thought oh you know what like he's, this has happened again and after Rio I went out to Rio and I watched the guys train and stuff I watched the guys fight I cheered them on I thought I need, this has got. Me, this will not happen again. Do you know what I mean? This will not happen again. I will. Not, I will not be looking back in four years' time. I will not be in the crowd watching the Olympics. I'll be on that podium. So that's that was been, ever since Rio. That's been my motivation. That's good that you had that. I mean, mine, when I look back on mine, mine was um, the Euros when Kevin Keegan was manager. I was a young player, loads of hype, but I was living partied fast life mm -hmm. out and about in and around London, visiting all the clubs you can imagine. And then the squad got announced and I expected to be in the squad and I got eliminated from the squad, didn't get picked. When you say that, it was because your lifestyle? Yeah, completely. I knew straight away I was embarrassed, my pride was hurt. I, I didn't want to speak to no one, I didn't want to see no one because I knew the first question was, how come you're not in the squad? And deep down I knew it was me. Yeah, yeah, that, I mean, that's so, the worst feeling. Exactly, and then that's when I made the decision straight away then, I need to leave... Um, where at the club I'm at, I need to get out of London, I need to get up north so I can concentrate and really devote my life to, to being a professional. So, you, that, as I said, no matter what sport you're in, there needs to be that moment where a penny drops and you're lucky when you realise, you have to have the intelligence to realise it. Who's kind of been your inspiration up to now? I used to watch Mike Tyson, I used to watch a lot of Mike Tyson. <laughs> if you watch him fight, he actually, his head movement is madly like Tyson or Joe Fraser. When's the Olympics for you? Uh, 2020. Yeah, so you've got a couple of so years. Got, you know, I've got a little bit of preparation. Yeah, yeah. It's Get good, there. good. And it's then turn good. pro off that, he's up with him. Look, people ask me all the time, like what, like, what do you want, what do you want? I do want an Olympic medal, but more than an Olympic medal, I want a 16-year-old kid to walk in here one day and mm. see my picture on the wall. Mm. So as soon as I walked in the, the, this uh, gym, I walked in and it kind of had a smile on my face here, or from within, mm. because I saw a change room again. Yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. like a group of people, guys, girls, all in here for the same reason, to become successful, but to help each other to get there. Because in a change room, it's like you're all in it together, right? the yeah, environment's yeah, yeah. great, yeah. you're pushing each other, can you do that? You can't do it bully boy tactics type thing mm -hmm. to get people moving it's like I miss that that kind of energy I never thought I missed it until I come in the gym here well so good luck man yeah recent, appreciate your help man. man every time I'm coming in I'm learning something so whether it's from Richie whether it's from the fighters the other coaches here and how can you not thrive and enjoy being in this environment subscribe to Betfair's YouTube channel to follow my journey